Hello creatives! Today we're going to be doing a cute little stork picture. I have my rough sketch here. I'm working on the iPad today on Procreate, but I'm making it as easy as possible for you to follow along either on the iPad or on a piece of paper. Don't bother too much about the technical aspect of this video, just follow along with the tools and materials that you have on hand. You'll need a pencil, a pen and some colors, whether you use watercolors and paints or color pencils, crayons, markers. Okay, so here I have my rough sketch of the stork and I will be taking you step by step how I've made this. So first of all for the stork, I'm not sure if you can see, maybe I'll make my lines a little bit bigger, thicker. We have a circle. We have a triangle for the beak. We have his neck. So from the end of the, the back side of the circle, you just make a curved line, two curved lines for his neck. Here would have a little oval for his body. And if his feathers were closed, we would have another oval here for his feathers. Since they're open, we will have them coming out like this. So on both sides. And then two little triangles for his the top part of his leg. And then straight line down for his front leg. And we're going to be making her with one leg behind like that. The feet are very simple, just curved straight lines. A short one for the back and two long ones for the front. So that's the general uh, outline for and sketch for our stroke. Of course, we'll add in the eyes. So, and then we'll give it a touch of alzation by adding the bow and a cute little dress for the costume. So I'm going to erase this one and we're going to do a new one. So now you can get started, get your paper and pencil ready. So I'm using a pen, I mean a brush that looks like a pencil. So if you have a pencil, just feel free to join with me. I'm making, since I already made my very rough sketch, which you have maybe made as well with me, you can go ahead and make your lines a little bit darker. Now I'm not continuing my whole neck because I made her a little cute alzation costume, which, which is a little blouse. And then a little apron type thing. Kind of, actually I'm going to erase these little dots here and make the little buttons like this and it's kind of with an X shape. Here we'll have the little belt, which normally would be tied in the back. So here's the beginning of the neck. Here we'll continue the neck and we'll start the little skirt. So it's just a wavy, you can make little waves if you want. And I've added a little apron. Okay, moving on to the wings. So I'm following my sketch. You can do it all in one go. Or a few strokes at once. It doesn't have to be perfect because the wings can be a little bit, the feathers, for example, they're not always open and closed. Exactly perfect. I'm making two rows here because one will be darker and one will be light. For our stroke, the end feathers are always usually black or dark. So here we're doing the other side. Same thing, very fun, simple curved lines. And on the inside, I'm going to make smaller versions of that. They don't have to follow the same pattern or anything. Moving on to the body, so as you saw before, the oval shape goes like this, but because the skirt is there, we're not seeing fully the, the body. So here is the front, making a little curve, uh, triangle shape. 
and kind of just like little triangles for the bottom. And here, I keep going a little bit with my feathers for his tail. So for the leg, as you saw before, we're just going to do a straight line down. And just as an addition, I'm going to add a little knee. You can move your paper around, so whatever is most easy or comfortable for your hand. So I make three long ovals, one for the back and two for the front. So for the back leg, I'm going to do, she will be folding her leg towards the back. Again, the back foot. Well, they're not really called feet, but Here's the bill we've done. Okay, now moving on to the little Alsatian touch. Continuing on with that, I'm going to be adding another little double stroke here as a little decoration on her skirt. We will actually color in. So if you have your pencil or pen, go ahead and color it in and make it black. Don't worry about making a mistake. If you have a mistake, feel free to erase it. Again here, I'm going to my brush size a little bit bigger. As you can see, this brush I chose kind of looks a little bit like a pencil. I like the organic look, not perfect or anything. Not too vectorized. All right, so we'll continue with our bow. I'm just going to do a curved line all the way down like this and then go in. Same on the other side, all the way down and in. This is like the tie of the bow. It's not always needed, but you can do it. And a couple little lines like this. And we're done with our line art. So I'm going to take off my pencil sketch and you can erase your pencil sketch underneath once you've done the pen. And now we're ready to add some color. So I'm going to go to my palette and you're going to go to your color pencils and I'm going to pick an, a black or almost black. So you can pick a black or very dark gray color. And I'm going to start by coloring in the bow. So your strokes can follow the shape and the curve of your picture. You can either make little strokes or you can make longer strokes, as long as it all follows the same direction. Went a little bit out of the lines like this, so I'll erase it a bit. For the back, I'm just leaving a tiny little white line so I can see where it ends, where the top part of the bow ends. Same here for the bow. I'm just leaving a little bit of a white line in between here and here, just to tell, and maybe even these lines, which I could have also left a little white stroke for this part. If you've already done your pencil, you can go ahead and erase just a little bit next to your line. Helps the little bow lines to stand out. And then you can continue on with your coloring. Again, starting from the top. There we go. I'm going to continue with the black. So we have our wings, which will be black, the ends of the wings. So as I told you, we have two different um, parts of the curved lines, the feathers. We're going to color in all the end ones. So again, you just take it, take your time, go slow. You can leave a little bit of white if you want sometimes either on the top or the bottom. Because the feathers are never totally black. There's always a little bit of lighter colors and grays to it. 
which we'll work on that in a little bit. So you can use a very dark gray or you color lightly with black. Same on the other side. I just leave a little bit of white for a, for a little contrast, a little highlight. Sometimes I don't, I forget to, but that's okay. I love drawing storks. They're kind of fun, kind of a different sort of bird. Long, tall neck, long, tall legs. Big wings. Not a really cute bird, but I try to give it a little cuteness. I make the head a little bigger than normal. It still looks realistic enough, but... So, there we have our wings. I'm going to add a tiny little black at the end of the tail as well. So, and I hadn't drawn it, so I'll just go ahead and draw. Now we're going to choose a reddish orange for the bill. Again, you start from the top, work your way down. And we're going to use the same color for his legs. So as you see, it's starting to, adding a little bit of color starts to make it look like a stork. Kind of takes shape. Helps it come to life. I could up my size, but I'm kind of doing a, as if when you were using a pencil, you would use lots of little strokes. On the iPad, I could just easily fill it in, but I kind of like the drawn, the hand-drawn look too. There we go. Now we're going to choose a red for the skirt. So the Alsatian costume is very often black, red, and white. Of course, they have var variations to that, sometimes dark blue, dark green, but we're going with the traditional red skirt. Sometimes their ribbon on their head, their headpiece could be also red. We chose black for ours and the blouse would be a uh, white. So I'm going to go choose a white with a tiny little touch of blue. So if you're using your color pencil, you could use a very, very light blue, which also ends up looking a little like white. So there's the little shirt. Now we're going to pick a light gray, very light gray for the wings of well, for the body, kind of the shading. So now that we're done all the flat colors, we're not going to color in the bird, but we're going to add in some shadings. So I'm gonna make a very light version of the gray. And you kind of follow the same lines that you've already drawn and make little strokes. So this will help our little feathers to stand out a bit. Even a little bit more. I'm kind of following the curve as I add my lines. And I'm going to add a few more because his wings are full of feathers. I don't know if you can see so well. So we didn't make it in um, black because they're actually white feathers, but by adding a little bit of gray, we kind of add a little contrast and can see them. A little bit better so I'm going a little bit un behind each one adding a few little strokes and maybe towards the edges as well I'm going to go to my dark wings and add a little little touch of gray kind of in the middle to show kind of like actually the very simple would just be to add a straight line in the middle of your and I'm going to also the line, the little white highlight I left, I'm going to make that gray as well. And adding a thin line to the middle of your feather. It kind of makes it look kind of featherish. So 
On the other side, I'm doing the highlight in gray and a line in the middle. That's kind of the easiest way I can think of making the feathers. You don't have gray, you can actually use a white pencil and get the same effect because you're just drawing over the black. So we'll see how that would work for you. And I'm going to go ahead and add again here on this side some of my strokes. Here I'm going to add a little bit more gray because it's kind of the back behind the body sort of so has a little bit more shading and even behind the beak just to help it stand out a little more kind of makes it look 3d realistic here too a little bit more shading and i will draw the extra little feathers now i'm going to go for the face so we, i still have my gray pencil just a little bit here behind the beak going to make our stork look a little bit roundish like this. So I go a little bit harder on the edges and then towards the middle I go even lighter strokes. A little bit here, a little darker on the neck part. It's almost like you can leave like little feathery strokes. See, so you're giving it a little more shape. Makes it look kind of roundish. And let's go to the body. So again, a little bit underneath the skirt as there would be a little shape there. I'll kind of go for the corners and edges. And also underneath, behind the feathers. Let's add some shading as well as a little bit here. Here behind the first leg. Maybe towards the edges as well. And the back leg, I will maybe make it fully gray. That way you can kind of tell that it's behind. And I think we have our body. So it's coming together. Now I'm going to give a little bit of shading to the beak. So I'm going to pick a brown. Doesn't really matter what brown, just just a, or very, you could use also a red or a darker version of orange if you have different ones. So I'm just going to make a little bit on the bottom part and on the edges like this. Just to again make it stand out a little bit. Maybe I'll pick a little more reddish color. Oops, that's too dark. We're going to black. Just slightly, maybe it's too red. A little more brown. You kind of play around with the colors that you have, what you think would work, as long as it's darker than the, the beak, what you have. So I do just the bottom part of it, and also for the legs, I'm going to do a little bit darker, a little bit under here, and on one side of the leg. That way it kind of shows where our lightest source is coming from. I like it to come from the left here. I'm going to do a little bit of the bottom and the back. Here and here at the bottom. Like that. Same on the other one, a little bit on the top here. And on one side. And now I'm going to pick a yellow and add a little highlight. So I think the highlight always does the trick to help it stand out a little more. And I'm doing the highlight on the top part of the beak. So you can see it kind of makes it look roundish. So if you have a color pencil, you could use yellow or even add a little white if you notice that your yellow is not coming, is not strong enough. And just do it on the edges like that, the opposite side of the dark shade. Can even make mine a bit lighter as well. I'm going to give him a Q 
cute little cheek just for fun since it's a her let's see if it works maybe a little there we go a little oval for her cheek and I'm going to go to her skirt and we're going to add a few highlights as well and shadings so again like we did our other ones we're going to go to the edges and add a little bit of a darker color so if you don't have a darker red you can just uh, use a brown that works perfectly well which is what I've used here so I'm going to just make a little bit on the side here behind the I put a little stroke here behind the apron under the apron here behind the wing a little bit then I could do a little bit here little shade I kind of go with where the skirt little uh, curvy lines are and here because there's a line so I'm gonna go behind there and maybe a little bit here it just kind of makes our skirt come be a little bit more realistic now you can choose a pink pink or white and we're gonna do tiny little highlights in the middle part so here are the upper parts I did dark and now the little parts I'm doing lighter color I think this really gives it a nice 3d look type thing I'm doing very lightly very soft and a little bit in the middle here for the belt Alright, and I'm going to pick white for the shirt. I'm just going to put also just some highlights for the middle parts. I'm going to go to my bow and I'm going to go darkest, darkest possible. So if you did a very dark gray, you can also choose a color that's even darker because we're going to give a little bit shading, a little bit. So I have my outline, my little white stroke that I left here underneath that. I'm going to go even darker with my darker black and I'm going to continue dark behind the head since our bow is behind the stork's head not all the way but just kind of like that and on the ribbon as well the ribbon will have quite a bit and again for the next one I'm going to go underneath the line and then again a little on the top as well so I go darker and then the further I go from the first line I made, I'm doing it lighter and lighter. Same on the other side. So underneath that white line, I'm doing a dark one and then little strokes underneath that. Then I'm going to continue behind the stork. It also helps the stork to come out to stand out a bit more because I'm giving a bit more contrast with the bow. Again, underneath a darker and then little strokes and for here also I'm going to pick a lighter gray now I'm just doing a new layer but you can go ahead and do yours over and I'm going to just do a little highlight on the bow here so you might want to use white because I'm not sure if gray will show up for yours just going to do a little little highlight for the top as well because that's where the light would be coming from maybe a little bit behind here or not maybe more this way so I'm just experimenting as I go too as you can tell I kind of see what looks good as I go Sometimes I like it, sometimes not. I'm going to put a little bit, hmm, I need to put this, make a new layer, a little bit of gray here too, in the middle part of the apron, and it kind of stands out for a little highlight. And if you want to put any highlights on your wings, you can put more now at this time, but I think they're fairly good. Maybe on the tail. If you want more strokes, you can always... Well, there we have our little girl stroke. A uh, girl stork, I'm sorry.
dressed in a, the Alsatian costume. I hope you enjoyed this time with me and that you learned something. I'll see you next time.